Hello. I think we're here. <laughs> Let me know, everybody, if you can fucking hear us, please. Us being me, Adam. Are you there, Ben? Yes, I'm here. I'm just uh, muting the stream that I also had open at the same time and really freaked <laughs> myself <laughs> out. <laughs> I had the exact same thing. I was like, wow, Adam's just doing the same intro twice back to back. <laughs> Frank Walker cool style. technique. <laughs> a bit of a hello, hello. Uh, let me know, everybody, if uh, yeah, how 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 this volume is and and shit. If you need it changed, I can I can do that. I reckon. I'll Looks give like it a we crack. scared some people. We scared some people uh, on yeah. Twitch, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Welcome to Horror Central. This uh, is the Nick, home of Nick jump Ibis. scares. Nick Ibis has asked for a fashion report. Um, this is kind of a DIY one for everyone watching at home. You can see. You can see and take it in with your own eyeballs, but um, I'm wearing an Adidas t-shirt and my pajama pants still because you know it's what, uh, quarter to nine. You know what Adidas stands for? Uh, you know no, I thing? don't. It no. stands for all day Adidas. <laughs> Wait, that is not even an A. All day I dream Adidas. Yeah, Steven. yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, to it was the specifically. Yeah, yeah, he was. It was the inventor of Adidas talking to Steve Jobs, I think. <laughs> yeah, they were trying to get some stripes on those uh, polo necks or those turtlenecks he wears. Oh yeah, I uh, God, imagine that. I can see you, Tommy, are wearing a red and white. Is it like? Is there a big number on your chest? Is this like a baseball it's thing? It's a yeah, it's a baseball jersey. It's my friend's label. It's called Smile and Wave. So there's like an SW on the chest. You, it's you, like a little you, capsule collection that she made for the Lunar New Year. So you know check what out, SW uh, is? Check out Smile and Wave. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say. Uh, uh, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> <Wayne. laughs> yeah. that's perfect improv, baby. That's how I do. It. I'm wearing blue shirt, pants, no shoes. I got feet down there, and I think it's literally Whoa. against the terms of service of Twitch to show you them. Yeah, wow. I got something. Uh, I got something worse on the feet that'll be more offensive to some people. I got the Crocs on. So, okay. which which pair of Crocs that you own are you currently wearing? <laughs> Yeah, my plain white, my formal Crocs. Sure, 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 nice. sure. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, just so Even everyone knows, we're going to we're going to be showing the Nintendo Direct here. That's why we're here. That's 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 yes. this. Uh, we'll, it's not we'll, started uh, yet, but we'll switch over when it does. But just so everyone knows, yeah. we're not just fucking around. <laughs> we're serious. Mm. We're, we're <laughs> seriously talking about Nintendo. <laughs> We didn't get up at 8 a.m. to sit on the internet and talk about our clothes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Us. I, I got up, yeah, got up kind of early because um, I was like, oh, it's going to take me ages to get ready for this thing that I don't have to shower for. But I was up like 7.30 making a coffee and heard my neighbors leave, I assume, for work, which I realized I've never been up early enough to hear them leave for work. <laughs> Must be so. nice. No need to, no need to yeah. do that when you're, when you're a Cyberman. You ever, speaking of fashion report, you ever seen Doctor Who? Look at, look, mm. you look like a Cyberman with the microphone up. Oh, uh, I've never seen what a Cyberman looks like. Look up, look in the mirror. You, okay. You, you're a Cyberman. Fuck. <laughs> Cybermans are hot. <laughs> oh yeah, I see that. I um, uh, look nothing like them. <laughs> Thanks everyone who's hanging around here too. Come watch us with us. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe you can uh, sub to our Twitch because like we haven't done a Twitch stream on this channel in ages or even personally in ages, really. Mm. Um, so yeah, well, maybe we'll do, how do more we, or something. But How do we delete this spam bot? Uh, great oh. question. Let me, I'll, I reckon oh, we've I got a do bot. It. Yeah, we've got oh, a bot. Shit. Another Cyberman. Could be a listener. <laughs> could be a listener. You uh, yeah, know I should uh, engage with them in a cyber fight. <laughs> uh, I can I can pin the message. <laughs> I know, I saw that as well. Will that help? <laughs> we could draw more attention to Doge hype. Um, um, yeah, I don't yeah know. thank you to all, uh, all of our regular fans who have uh, joined us for like Patreon stuff that we have, I guess, done a little bit more recently. We've done some streams uh, for patrons on YouTube and stuff. We played some games together. Um, some familiar names in the chat, which is very nice, and a, mm. a hell of a lot of new names, which is less nice because I'm scared of new people. Um, <laughs> I love no, new it's... people. I get scared of people <laughs> I know. We have, uh, you know, complementary anxieties. It's true. Familiarity breeds contempt with you. Speaking of which, <laughs> Nox and I hung out last night. We're doing this now. We're recording the podcast later. Um, mm. It's a, it's a, and we're doing stuff on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. It's a big week. 
Uh, speaking of The Last of Us, <laughs> that's a video game. Yeah. And yeah. I guess don't Ooh. spoil the show for anyone port. in the chat. Port, port it to the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, before we get started here, we've got like 10 minutes until the thing should start um, and it'll be another jump scare because it'll suddenly go like and and yep. whatever. But um, what do you reckon's going to happen? Oh, uh, I mean... Next now, Tommy, I'm mm. finding your... Uh, oh, there we go. You froze for a second there. So it seemed like you started saying an idea and then really didn't back yourself. <laughs> went, I think there might be Mario. Oh, oh, fuck, such a fucking idiot. God damn it. There won't be Mario. <laughs> <laughs> there might be. There'll be Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Maybe that's yeah. what you were saying, Tommy. Yep. Um, uh, I've seen speculation that maybe there will be some, some kind of something about Metroid at all. Um... Maybe some remasters of the first three Metroid Primes. They when was the last time they mentioned Metroid Prime Four? Like two years ago. I think they said something about it more recently than that. In like, but like it was one of those earnings call type of things or something. Is my oh yeah yeah it, where it's just like no we're yeah. still doing it we're still doing it. But in terms of actively promoting it, I honestly think it may have been like yeah once in between the fucking announcement before the Switch even existed. To now, yeah, yeah. There was that like logo of it in a in a E three direct. I think it was maybe like uh, just after the switch had come out, possibly. Mm. And then there was that story not that long ago that they had like scrapped the whole thing. Like they'd basically yeah. brought in a new team and like they'd almost started all over again on it. So yeah, yeah. I don't. And I don't. To be don't fair, know. they've like they've put out Metroid Dread in between there as well. Like they've yeah. talked about Metro plenty because it like, because of that, but in, yeah, prime who fucking knows. And there's been those rumors. I mean, in a similar way, I guess to like people always say wind waker and twilight princess remakes, they'll get shown, but probably mm. not. Uh, but like, there's been scuttlebutt about a Metroid prime one remake in particular for yes. a while now. Yeah. It was a, it was a pack for a while was the rumor. And then it's, that's, <laughs> That's slowly been downgraded to, it'll be one and two, and then, yeah. oh, no, it's just one. It's so, one, right. Yeah, <laughs> may, yeah. that's going to be the first half hour of one. <laughs> you know what we could get, possibly, is, like, uh, online, like, because I think we'll get shown, like, oh, Pokemon Stadium's coming out today on the, the Switch oh, Online yeah, yeah. thing. Maybe yeah. we get Metroid Prime 1 Remake, and then also 2 and 3 will be playable on our new GameCube and Wii sections on the on the Switch oh, yeah. Online thing. Maybe cool. that's yeah. why that also, 2 and 3 bit went away. It does say uh, specifically on like the, the, the thumbnail that we're looking at, it's going to be f mostly focused on games that are coming out in the first half of this year. So... Mm. It's probably it's probably not going to be some anything about uh, Metroid Prime Four. Um, it, it is probably going to be yeah, um, old shit, old ports, um, old shit getting ported or yeah, getting remastered or just put available to yeah. buy. Um, I think there'll be a, a ten fifteen minute um, segment on the expansion pass for Fire Emblem. Oh, <laughs> they love doing a, yeah, they love doing yes. a big expose of something that's just come out. There's um, like a new map for Mario Kart Tour that they're going to be putting into those yeah, Mario Kart right. 8 DLC things. I bet they'll do like a lot. Like that sort of stuff that you forget they've kind of had on the back burner because you don't care about it. And then they spend yeah. ages. Yep. There'll be some fucking wrestling game and like a farming thing and whatever. Like a lot of there'll it will be, be that. There'll probably. be more Pikmin 4 probably. Yep. Um, Hopefully. I'd love that. And the, it'll be the first actual look at it, I think. Like, yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Apart from... Yeah, and there will be um, a date for Advance Wars, <laughs> I reckon. Well, that, yeah. yeah. That, like, I really have my expectations pretty low for this one. I think Advance Wars, a date for that, um, a bit of a look at Tears of the Kingdom, and that's honestly, uh, yeah, Fire Emblem Expansion Pass info. And that's really all I'm expecting, honestly. I think we really are... They've still got some good stuff to come out, but I, I think they're... You know, they're getting near the, they're very much getting near the end of the gen. I feel like they're sort of they're you know, they're out of steam. I think a lot of effort would be being put into thinking about the the start of the next gen. So even mm. like Prime Four and Pikmin, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they end up being shuffled onto whatever the next thing is. I could see that happening, like they're making sure they've got or them being cross gen or whatever. But in terms of this direct I'm really yeah, I'm I'm keeping it pretty low because also I think this is probably going to be the last one for a while. Like they've they've 
they're not going to be at E3. There was that report that it's because they don't really have anything up their sleeves post Zelda. So I, I mean, this direct kind of feels like we're about to watch the Beatles up on the rooftop, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know though, like because I the if they do have anything else for it, they need to show it now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mm. like. I think you're right that there's a big possibility that maybe this is pretty lean and it's just like spinning the wheels until like probably early next year or something or like similar to the Switch late this year we get like, they'll we're doing a new thing and then mm-hmm. early next year they'll actually show it. But if they actually, like I maybe suspect, <laughs> I don't know if I suspect it, but maybe I do. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, you're on the fence. <laughs> if, if they... <laughs> have been fucked pretty hard by COVID and uh, taking longer than they would like to to figure out that next hardware. Um, maybe, like, yeah, they, I, I think that could be far away enough that they are maybe announcing a couple of things we don't expect here. That's what I'm I, hoping I for. Also, yeah, I, I agree. And it sounds like there was like a... There was a recent, I think, earnings call uh, that Nintendo had, or it was maybe even just a, um, a comment from... Uh, uh, the president, Shintaro Furukawa, who was like, um, yeah, we, we're we sort of in uncharted territory with how long we've had one hardware platform going, mm-hmm. but we have to continue to support it and we're going to continue to, uh, yeah, reveal, propose is how he, he puts it. Right. Um, we're going to propose both new and classic titles. Um, and they're, yeah, he says they're planning on uh, adding stuff to the virtual console um, and here, here's the quote. We also believe that the continuing life cycle of the Nintendo Switch will lead to opportunities for additional software to be played by consumers. Um, yeah. Okay, it, weird quote. Weird quote, but it does sound like there's no plans for a, a, a new piece right. of hardware. Because um, it's now yeah. like the third highest selling console of all time. So like, yeah, yeah if you're there's... putting this effort into developing software, it, it's like, well, if you want to make sure that the most number of people are going to play it, then yeah, I put, also it, think put it on this. The fact that there was so much of that talk about the Switch Pro for a while there, it seems like that was happening and then they canned it because mm. of production stuff, because of COVID. The fact mm. that they had that essentially stopgap ready to that that was part of their plan that fell apart i think there probably is a bunch of switch pro games that are now just going to be switch versions that probably already would have already run on the switch but now that switch Pro, get rid of that the switch now just exists without the pro thing for two more years yeah or that new hardware we ended up we we will end up getting right Does and if they sense? were yeah. starting to optimize yeah. them, there's maybe like a version that's ready to go that's optimized for what the next thing, you know what I mean? Like if they were yeah. working sure. on those versions and they never saw the light of day, they've just sort of got them up the sleeve, you know, for like a day one patch right. on a... Right. When, it's whenever the sort new hardware comes or whatever. The opposite of the Wii U situation where it's like they will release these games to a, a bunch of people, but they might just play really shittily because they're at the end of the Switch's life cycle and be yeah. like, well... Hey, play the remaster on the Switch number two. I also I saw uh, some stuff in the chat. Want to address some other rumors circulating? <laughs> um, there was one uh, one person who thought that um, I was Mark Fennell, um, the Australian <laughs> broadcaster, uh, and I want to say categorically that I'm not. Uh... And also, I don't like that guy. <laughs> so that's. Um, <laughs> Uh, someone's asking if we're going to get to see the dusty PS3 in your uh, your temporary home, Tommy. Yeah, You're yeah. In the wrong, wrong part of the house. Yeah, there's been a f- yeah people questioning what's going on in the background. I'm in a I'm in one of the children's bedrooms, yeah. so there's like the shelf of books behind me. Well, no so, one's had yeah, a goddamn upstairs. thing to say about my void. <laughs> But I'm, in, I'm going to switch us over here to the uh, to this thing because I reckon we'll kick off suddenly any second yeah. now. Seems mm. like it. Uh, also, yeah, thanks to uh, Gadzooks in the chat uh, for uh, saying nice things about Clicker. Um, oh, damn. Also got some some great fe- great feedback last night from my sister, who's been watching the show as a non game player and uh, really listening good. to the pod. Oh shit, that might be too loud. Hey, let me uh, let me turn that down for us there. Let me uh, let me let me. How's that? I mean, I can't hear it, so. 
chat. Weigh yeah, in. yeah, chat. Chat I'm talking to. Please, Ben, leave me in chat alone. <laughs> um, also, I think yours started like five seconds before mine. Fair enough. Well, I'll let you know what happens. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Pikmin 4 being first is, is yeah. uh, indicative that they've got some surprise we don't know about towards the end, I reckon. Yeah, because this is their most like un unknown thing. Crank it up. But you won't be able to hear our funny, to uh, funny little jibes and jabs. <laughs> yeah. Do you want um, me to crank down my my <laughs> voice? <laughs> no, everyone's saying it's fine, Nox. So okay. put it back to what it was before. I I've got it roughly, roughly right, I think. All right. Now I've to this day still not played a Pikmin game. Me too, really? I was just about to say. Yeah, never gone in, though. I never... I guess what would have been the last thing I had that it was on a 3DS, maybe? But I, well, I was yeah, super late to the 3DS, even. Yeah, 3 is out on the Switch. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? You guys what? Are... I did play a bit of one, like, them. back on the GameCube for, like, 20 minutes or something. I must have rented it or something and just... Okay, didn't... so you're a liar. You said before that you'd never played it. I like to keep people guessing. I'm not a liar. I'm mysterious. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. They got Ice Pikmin. Oh. Doing a bit of a butt spin. I like that. Little break Super dance. strength. Very really, unpredictable. I'm mm. loving this little <laughs> kind of music and all the sound effects of the Pikmin and shit. This Pikmin dog, too. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. It's, oh, um, you're kidding me. It's very <laughs> Studio Ghibli, all the, the sound effects and shit. <laughs> Look at this guy. Wow. Oh my god. I think this the reason so I never good. it's like I really <laughs> oh don't like god. those people who are like a pick men kind of person. I'm trying to do like a pick me girl thing. It, it's not working. No, okay. But yeah, Manic you pick understand. dream girl you mean. That's a lot better. That's good. <laughs> it's less current. Thank you. It's yeah, less exactly. Current, but it pick, sounds kind of good. You can tell what you mean at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You should have just said, yeah, she's a Pikmin girl, and then hoped people would pick up on it. I didn't want to... You can get pick me boys too, and I didn't want to make it gentle. Really? <laughs> I've never so. heard of that. Well, you need to go talk to the people more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go on the people on the internet. Um, yeah, nice. This yeah, a lot, like lot of people eight. in the chat who, who have not played Pikmin, or at least two. <laughs> Get around, uh, get around three. It's really good. That's so funny right. that there's a that you play as a little lady in in four. It's like just imagining people going, "Pikmin's gone woke." Oh hey, <laughs> those um, those little things in the background. They're the star bits from Mario Galaxy. There's oh my god. Ah, oh. there you go. Oh, I thought we'd fade it to a new trailer, but no, it's just nighttime. <laughs> July. So I think, yeah, you guys must be like uh, five, ten seconds behind the the, the current up-to-date stream. Funny, because we're using the exact same stream. <laughs> Man, it often mm. happens whenever we've done like the, you know, chatted about the Game Awards in Discord and watched them at the same mm. time or whatever, they're often off a little bit for some reason. Mm. I don't mm. claim to understand the entirety of the internet, but I have a 99% knowledge of it, and this should never yeah. happen. It's, it's a series of tubes, and there's no leaks, so maybe a shark I don't get has it. eaten the one that goes to you. I'm always worried about that. Oh, yes. How could we have forgotten in our predictions the expansion pass for Xenoblade 3? Mm. <laughs> Punky Plays asks, no release date for Pikmin 4? Uh, it, it was just on the screen. It was the 21st of July. Yeah. yeah. It was the so, only thing on the screen when it came up. Yeah. <laughs> White Honestly, text on black. I whenever there's and it's why I never sign contracts because if there's text or numbers, I literally zone out, so I can understand you're just missing it. Well, you must be loving this right now on the yeah, screen, Adam. It's God. nothing but text and numbers. Yeah, I I found Santa. I mean, we talked about it at the time, I think, but I found uh, Santa Blade Chronicles pretty exhausting. Yeah, I never went in. I, I didn't love two. Two was the one that was also on Switch, right? Yeah. 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 Didn't didn't love it. Um, and yeah, there must have been something else out at the same time. I was loving it. I was. I was. I think I got about fifteen hours in, and then I kind of got waylaid. But um. Hey, it only sounds like you. You got fucking attacked. <laughs> was there a highway robbery? <laughs> you got raided by a pirate ship. 
<laughs> yeah, this guy pretended that he'd been shot, so I pulled my car over. And then, oh, uh, no. Well, the rest um, is history. Oh, now it's all awesome. Samba de Amigo, yeah, is a cool-ass oh. game from the Dreamcast. Are there... Oh, she's just holding the Switch things. There's not the Maraca controllers again. Oh, I was going to say, is this... Does it look like a remaster, or is this a uh, new version? I think this is new. Okay. This... this yeah, this uh, kind of looks new. What was it called? What was the subtitle? Samba de Amigo. Party something? Amigo. Again, it was text on Party. screen. I'm not, the, I'm not the source for, for this. Oh, hell yeah. It's got a love tester on it. Fuck Boys, yeah. Boys, we got we to all do it together and see how in love we are. <laughs> Party I Central. It, I would do it if it had uh, the Maraca controllers still. I don't. I trust the love tester that used the actual Maraca peripherals. Oh, yeah. Okay. If we, if any of us gets below 80 with the other one, we have to quit the pod. <laughs> I feel like we're just Joy-Con drifting apart, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got Hall Effect uh, romance setting. Uh, fuck. Wow. Yeah. You get it, though. I don't think you do. <laughs> I do. Oh. They're just not as good Fashion as they're hyped game. up to be. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah. yeah, damn, we'll have to play this, I guess, then. Yeah. <laughs> like that teddy bear top. <laughs> Tons of people are seeking the latest trends. Tons of people are seeking the latest trends. Yeah. (laughs) That's really true. That's actually really representative of the real world. Yeah. You know what I always think about? How tons of people are seeking the latest trends. Mm. That sentence really (laughs) borrowed into my head for some reason. Fuck. Well, we had so much fun playing the uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley game. Yeah, true. Well, we spent 40 minutes on the fashion segment that was just this, I think. And, like, genuinely Yeah, this rules. Too. Yeah, yeah, I, I awesome. loved it. Yeah. I, I won't play this. This looks so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, we're this racking up. Awesome. Oh, look. There was, like, racking a... Up games we have to play now. You can push in the right <laughs> stick to tuck or untuck your top. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Uh, there, I genuinely oh, love this. Yeah, this looks so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice sweater. Okay, man, I was dead wrong about this direct. <laughs> man, I it, honestly, because everyone has been searching for the latest trends. Right? Yeah, found yeah. It. Yeah. Fashion dreamer. I, great name as well. I'm I'm down for everything about this. Yeah, I bet it'll be terrible, but also fun. Things can be terrible and fun at the same time. Oh, really? Sex with me if you don't believe me. <laughs> Will you tell us more examples while we're having sex with you? <laughs> yeah, you you won't have anything distracting you. Uh, this is cool. Uh, so this, yeah, this is really dead cool. Cells. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, we already knew about this, didn't we? I, I yeah. think that, yeah, I didn't realize quite how extensive it was until now, though, I suppose. Right. They kind of, they'd shown, like, this image of it being a, a collaboration. But, yeah, seeing the actual... Yeah. Gameplay there. It's it looks cool. cool. It's a cool. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Tron's back. Yes. yes. <laughs> Everyone's been seeking the latest trends, like Tron. God, when was that movie? The, <clears throat> the sequel was like what, thirteen years ago or something? A twenty ten, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez. Daft Punk's second People who last love album. Tron have always wanted a uh, visual novel based in the world of Tron. I gotta say. It, I don't not want it. Um, <laughs> I do like the world of Tron, and I do like visual novels. Um, okay, all right. I'd, I've never seen a Tron thing, to be fair. Uh, I didn't see the sequel, actually, but the original is like a pretty fun, you know, 80s, um, like, young adult adventure film. You know, it's one of those ones. Mm. It's like a never-ending story where you, like, go into this crazy world. and mm-hmm. um, Yeah, it's good. And great music. Now what the hell is this shit? Hey, ghost this is kind of cool, like a detective-y kind of thing. Okay, you were busy yapping on about Tron. I was. <laughs> uh, this little beetle that this guy's in, or it's not a beetle, but this like knockoff beetle is pretty. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this looks. This looks cool. It's kind of beetly. It could be a Herbie. Well, we're on to hey, we're, we're we're ahead. That's that we're weird looking city. beetle. We're running around. We're thinking about what we've <laughs> detected today. 
uh, putting all the detective games together is smart. I wonder if this is like the farming simulator of this direct. Oh yeah. 50 detective games. I mean, yeah, we did just have a glut of, of really good detective games or investigation games come out in the last mm. year. Mm -hmm. So what, what do I want more of? Shitty versions of that. <laughs> this looks, no, this okay. looks cool. I don't mind the. I'm like, into this. I don't quite it, get. There's too what... much shit on the screen, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> I'm sorry. The you are, ben. Moment activities are. <laughs> there is a lot of it's... shit on the screen. Yeah. It looks like Xenoblade, the sort of layout of this uh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, JRPG sure. JRPG combat thing is there, and also. A detective-themed JRPG is less interesting than a detective game. Yes, yes, I think so. Right. Deck of police, the decapitation police, specifically head-lopping crimes. Are all we investigate. <laughs> I think someone said that joke in the in the chat. Is that true? Well, I ain't yeah. looking. <laughs> oh yeah, this but is coming joke. out. I forgot about this. Well done. Oh yeah, great minds. Bad roll, Joe and Knox. Same, same person. We're only uh, yeah, like a month and a half away from this. I'm going to become a witch. Completely forgot this was coming out. I didn't. I knew. Yeah, I actually have got, been yeah, thinking about advent it calendar. the whole time since. So <laughs> yeah, I actually made this trailer. So. <laughs> And Cheshire's ferocity to travel through this mysterious mm -hmm. and bit scary that Cheshire thing. Well, you've got to harness his ferocity though. They'll if you can use the fear against well. your enemies, mm. that his 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 terrifying nature becomes your boon. But it would I'd be too scared the whole time. Yeah, right. Shivering in my boots. Well, honestly, that's what I'm like with like circular saws and guns and things like oh, that. Oh yeah, that are, like tools. But I don't want to fucking have anything to do with them. Even those both of my parents, like, both yeah. of my parents have been injured by a circular saw like really badly. Oh, so yeah, oh God. I, yeah. Not at the same time. That's On weird that it wasn't at the same time though. That's yeah. almost stranger because I can imagine well, they, like yeah. if one of them gets chopped by a saw and the other one comes over to help and accidentally gets chopped, but two of them separately, both do no, it. No, I believe the first time it, it was like. My mum, like my mum, was holding down a piece of wood, and my dad was cutting it, and he slipped and cut her thumb. Oh god! Like awfully, like plastic surgery. And then another time, I think dad just like dropped it and cut his leg. God so god. the issue is him. It's not the circular <laughs> saw. You ever seen those table saw like uh, safety demonstration videos where they'll get like a hot dog? and push it into the circular saw to, to show you that like it stops immediately they've got some detection thing oh there, but, right and no i haven't that sounds cool it's fucking scary because it's a hot dog but it really looks like a finger or like more like a penis and it, it really it gets your imagination going imagine i mean i mean i guess for those for those uh jewish members of the chat you know that's what happens at birth they get the circular saw out and they they lop off the end <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm very culturally unaware yeah. and ignorant. Well, why wouldn't you use the most modern technology? Speaking of modern technology, the expansion pass, one of the one of the wonders of the modern world. Yes. Yeah. So is this single player stuff? I would love some more single player. I think so. I mean, they did that for two. Mm. Loving the music. Oh, this is Splatoon One's uh, hub area. Ah, cool. Alright. And new, new... So that's the DLC? It's one of the waves. He said that there would be multiple parts to the expansion pass, and this is, yeah, the first one. I love this fucking Booyah shrimp base. guy! Look at this ball bag yeah. shrimp! Booyah base. I never clocked that that's what it was called in the first one. That's Like awesome. the sauce, Booyah Fred base. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fred again crumbs. Okay. Cool. The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. Loving these tunes. Oh, we clubbing. Yeah. Old school and freshness. Then I love the Splatoon music, man. It's so good. Yeah. I think it might be the best thing about it. Like, the gameplay is really fun. I don't love the visual style. But fuck, the music is like 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, just like, th this is cool, but it seems very uh, perfunctory. 
It's not like right. an exciting mm. thing to have in an expansion oh, pass to me. It should honest. have been the last thing. It should be the last wave of the expansion right. pass. Yeah, it's not. Chuck out some 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 actual content. Oh, here we go. I guess that's Ooh. this. Yeah. Well, Is you're getting dead, your goddamn wish, boys. <laughs> I wish for a million dollars. Oh, they're on the Great Barrier Reef. I wish yeah. for a smaller penis that's not so hard to fit inside my pants. <laughs> wish granted. <laughs> what the G'day, hell sweet is girly. this? Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> okay. Is this... Yeah, cool. Don't expand on the most trailers. interesting part of it. <laughs> <laughs> expand on the bullshit thing. We're like, you remember Splatoon 1? Yeah, I don't know. Go back. Adam, it says right there, expansion, pass. <laughs> in the future. Nice. Well, in the future, I'll always be looking for the latest trends. So hopefully that'll... Mm. Side okay. order. Well, I, that side order thing looked like single player stuff to me, I guess, right? Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. Not many people have played Splatoon 3 since its launch. Oh, many people. The subtitles had the word not before many. <laughs> yeah. And I really thought, like, well, what the fuck? Is... <laughs> Don't put it that way. You're, trying, you're the hype man. Oh, yeah, I haven't had subtitles on. So I haven't been confused by that. Ah, oh, Tommy. Here you go. Yeah. This is your sort of baby shit. <laughs> I'm in the right room for it. Ew. Is this new? I think so. Uh, the, the... Yeah, they announced this a little while ago. Oh, okay. Well, fuck me then. The, uh, like modern sort of uh, deconstructed simplified animation style thing is not necessarily to my tastes here you know what i mean like that just yeah it's like new simpsons versus old simpsons there's, yeah there's less like, there's less personality to it i think part of it is maybe that because i grew up during the era when you know disney had its style and things like disney and then you get the knockoff right. versions of them that looked like this now yeah, that they oh, yeah, are officially yeah, yeah. leaning into it it always just looks a bit like a knockoff to me yeah i don't like it By even way, just in terms of this game like the those castle of illusion games that we talked about on the disney Bandcamp are really cool and this is using that it's called land of Illu it's mm. island of illusion or something yeah. but it just doesn't it just doesn't look like those games even just in terms of gameplay, this looks like a different thing. It looks like a yeah. Flash game. Illusion yes. Island. It doesn't It yes. doesn't look bad, though. Like, the co-op thing can be cool. I liked that as a fun thing in, like, New Super Mario Brothers. And I mean, whatever. it's very colourful. I'm yeah. sure... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure if you're a kid, this would mm. be, you know, this would be a sick game. Yeah. Here you go, Tommy. Yes. You were right. Can I show, by the way? I, uh, I forgot to mention, you can trust, you can trust this here because I've got my pro gamer shit. Ready to go with my monster energy drink here. <laughs> you know that I mean business. Sick. Now we're talking Fire Emblem. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's wave one and wave two right here. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's weird. All the Crumb. all the all the guys all the guys in my team just got permanently killed, and I guess <laughs> that's so crazy. I guess uh, we've just got to go out and do the mission alone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's so weird. The commander said you have to move to the square next to me. I don't know, if, what, I don't know why. Can I Our ride on your dragon with you? My, my legs hurt. I want to ride on the dragon with you. Okay. Is there any way we could get our bond level up? I wonder. <laughs> Just because I got you this horse when you are. Uh, yeah, as uh, Kaisenberg points out in the chat, been a lot of uh, expansion pass and DLC uh, announcements. Yeah. Control of your destiny. I suppose. But that, hey, we've, you know, we've still got twenty minutes to go. Exactly, that happens every time. And like that can be exciting. Just all of those looked pretty, uh, you know, 
by the numbers type of expansion. I mean, I, yeah, I am excited for more Fire Emblem stuff. I do love that game, and mm. I mean, hey, we had Pikmin Four at the start as well. We did, and Splatoon mm. stuff. Well, seeing the future would help you identify the latest trends, and everyone's looking for them. Eventually, right. you'll side with one of the six aspirations like Bond. Holly. Or chaos. This seems the story's out. Yeah. I you know to which not to anyone's discredit or whatever. Hunt not to attack anybody. But here so we go. many indie games look like AI generated indie games now, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been playing um season. Yeah, yeah. It's that it's that sort of thing where it, Octopath um, Traveler 2 is that might just be cool, around though. the corner. <laughs> After today's Nintendo oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The game's opening this bastard's coming out. All right. Eight new oh, I just realized okay. what he meant by saying these games will have you rolling. Like role-playing? Yeah. Man, you got to oh. have the subtitles on. That was spelled out for us. Right. I, no, I, I turned them on. I still didn't get it. <laughs> I have them on and I still I thought he meant dice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he meant dice and then I was like, oh you mean laughing? Rolling. Like role playing Katamari. Oh hell yeah. Chumbawamba. I absolutely loved the remake of that first one that came out a couple of years ago, a few years ago now. I'd never played one before and I just had such a good time with it. And it was really well done. Like it was it it yeah. It, it held up because I'd never yeah. played it, and it was, you know, it's a pretty old game, and the the aesthetic, this weird, you know, humor mm. of it is, uh, yeah. it was still fresh, I reckon. I will say one thing I love about Nintendo Directs is it's the only like official presentation promotional material where you will see slow down in the gameplay footage that they use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's honest. Yeah. From all walks of life. And devastate foes with time to so was Boring. that was, was that Katamari one they just showed uh, another remake of one of the other Katamari games that has already been out or it said re roll plus yeah. something, right? I, I missed the title a little bit. Yeah. They're doing a you can get an online if you've got the online Twitch, you can play the last one for free. And then there's a new okay. one coming out. Yeah, right. Oh, nice. But then you, and then I, it looked like the new one was another remaking thing to me. Maybe some I, of the changes. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I don't think they, I don't think they're going to make any like new new ones. I think the guys moved on. Oh, right. Speaking of that AI guy made a game, game for the play date. All oh, right. Ah. This looks like wind jammers. Is this, is this officially a wind jammers? Thing? A Mega Strikers, no. Nah. I'll be right. A no, I'll yeah. go in there. And I'll just come back out when I'm sick of it easily. I'll yeah, just okay. to the left hand side, and that lets you exit a maze. It's simple. Why are you fighting that Minotaur? It's easy to get out of here. Vicious monsters lurk in the shadows. Never played one of these. They were. I remember mm. people talking about them on the DS. Drawing the map as you explore, you can progress even further. I don't like it. <laughs> a blank map is your only guide. Yeah. yeah, it's a hell of a guide. It's very old-fashioned, sort of like <laughs> like eighties like PC right. RPG yeah. type of thing, right? Or the ultra fast dark hunter. Greg. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Cool. All right. So we've had some expansion passes, a couple of cool looking things, remake of a DS series. I th the, w the wheel spinning prediction seems to be the most accurate of what we're having. And I guess Zelda at the end at this point, right? Seems to be. Seems like it. The most likely. Yeah. Version. They got to slot some other actually interesting announcement in here. Uh, Kaisenberg, they're calling this the Windows Maze screensaver game is pretty funny. Yeah. I would love Hold to see on. a series of that. Have the dancing baby game show up. Which I guess is Summer Day Amigo. <laughs> yeah, 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 patch him in. And all three of these come out on the same day? That seems crazy. Get your tactical <laughs> skills ready. I love hyping up the pre-order beginning today because it's like, that just benefits you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. making it sound like it's a favor yeah, to yeah. us. You can give us money for nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon this just comes out today? 
Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Why not? It's been yeah. ready for a year. Well, yeah, 20. <laughs> well, lo yeah, longer, yeah. But yeah, this, this actual thing has been seemingly sh sitting on a shelf since... Russia invaded you. It would be mad okay, if they had a... Alright. <laughs> <away. laughs> that would have been mad if they had have addressed the Ukraine conflict in this, in that, like, yeah. goofy voiceover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While we don't support Putin's actions, we are deciding to release this game. Russia's sending in troops? <laughs> oh, yeah, so this was kind of leaked... During the week, there was like a right. someone someone got an early copy and on the back of the box it mentioned this new mode that they've added for this remake. Okay, the Magalore epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is like the how they have this is the Funky Kong equivalent or whatever. I right? think this like, is this more is... like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just a new character like the, or a new like story and levels and stuff. Adding to like justify mm. yeah. the sort of yeah, right. I don't mean it's like as kind of bullshitty as Funky Kong because they did that with like um, Captain Toad when they put that under the 3DS and like tend to have like one little extra bit that shows up at the end. Yeah, the yeah. There are over 20 interdimensional stages to explore. All right. Up to four players on the same system can venture through cool. Sweet. mysterious Cool. I'm looking forward to playing this Kirby game. Been on a real Kirby tip lately. Mm. Can lately. Restore his powers and <laughs> safely to his world? Yeah, well, 36 years, that's yeah, lately. Cosmically <laughs> speaking, sure, it's lately. <laughs> yeah. Story mode. It's so weird how they do that thing, like, gate the new stuff behind playing the old game. But mm. even though that stuff is there as an incentive for people who've already played the old game, right? Like, yeah. I like. I loved having Bowser's Fury be a separate thing in. Uh, yes. Yeah. In yeah. Yeah. World, being able to go straight into that. I don't think I even ever really touched 3D World again because I played it on the Wii U. This looks sick. I yeah. I've barely played any Kirby games, but. In Kirby's return they're, to they're a fun time. Like, they're a fun, casual experience where, yeah, if you love the art design, then you're cool. <laughs> I want to be a friend. You found the latest trend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, shut up. Here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. <laughs> oh, here we go. I fucking love Super Mario Land 2. This is a yeah, good me too. fucking game. Nintendo Switch. Okay. You can play these okay. Games okay. So they never, I guess they didn't have Game Boy or Color games on there before, right? Yeah, right. Okay. No. I, I guess, I suppose I've forgotten that because it's fucking insane that they didn't. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can get Tetris. Because this is honestly, this is like, yeah, you're like, someone's built a house and then three years later comes back and goes, now we're adding a roof. Isn't that great? Like, well, why didn't you put it there in the first place? Part, it seems wind like a slam dunk. A roof. <laughs> I would a absolutely love a remake of Mario Land 2 in the like Link's Awakening remake style. Sure. I was kind of hoping they would do something like that because it's such a good game. There's a good like um, fan made mod whatever version of it that it could really? like Super Mario Land 2 DX that just makes it like like it was a Game Boy Color game. Oh, cool. Which is cool. Wow, they're really just listing Game Boy games here, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> they really be listing games. Tell you what, it looks Many like of which shit are available. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many of which are available in a souped up format through some kind of, you know, remake or remaster or whatever. Oh, yeah. As someone points out in the chat, uh, through emulation. Yeah. <laughs> Which has always been the case, I suppose. Well, this, yeah, you know, sure. Like, it's a official versus unofficial game sort of thing, I suppose. But also, yes, it's or not like... Color screen filters. Okay, great. Players can play yeah. Games together locally or online. I love playing games together. Friends only, no enemies. Will be added in the future. Nice. <laughs> uh, the Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy game, is fucking yeah. great. It really oh, is cool. Oh, okay. Yep. You, you know what I was dreaming You'd about the other day? Assume, yeah. I was dreaming that they would make a physical release of Marvel Snap. <laughs> and, and you could actually play it 
against people with card collector cards, booster packs. Right. Oh, I see uh, what you mean. I thought you meant just like a disc version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the card Like actual game. cards. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought that too. It, just the way that game works is so... This is sick, by the way, that they're doing the... Like, these are all fun games. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The... The game is so designed around, like, things being able to change quickly and whatever, right? Marvel Snap. That, like, yeah, it would be yeah. so hard to actually translate it to a tabletop proper card mm. game, but that would be very cool. Yep. Darren Guide. Who's Darren Guide? Uh, we need a Darren Guide guide. Are they going to do this for like another 20 minutes? It or? seems like it. They're really, they're, I've, <laughs> nice that they're putting plenty out there and these are all, you know, the greatest hits. Local and online players but yeah, it's like... Games, and up to four players can play <laughs> this also should have happened literally five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever, but... More games will be don't look a gift horse in there, well. I suppose. Cool. After this presentation, Bring back Golden Sun. Play these Game Boy titles with a Nintendo Switch online membership. I'm gonna both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with a Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack membership. Oh, so Advance is gated. I forgot how they did. Yeah, okay. Huh? Dude, That's you don't cool. even Usually need that fucking piece things. of shit anymore. Throw it in the bin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go. Nintendo Switch. Usually with these things, they're like, and this is happening in two months. It's cool that it's just Game Boy today. And Game Boy Advance titles we introduced. Please look forward to more information about uh, Nintendo Switch Online. TP, TTP Moose, Switch they did do a sequel to the Pokemon trading card game, Let's Game Boy game, in Japan only, but you can get a translation of it. Oh. My fan made one. Yay, here we go. Nintendo Switch. It's real. They did it. Whoa. Metroid huh. Prime is so fucking good. If you guys have, I did, did, neither of you ever played it, right? Um, I, I don't think so, nah. I think I played three. I can't remember if I ever played the first one. That was the Wii one, yeah. That, man, the first yeah. one is the best one, and it's it's fucking really good. I loved it. This is looking yeah. cool. It also felt there a lot is. better to play with the controller, uh, as opposed to, like, they did that re-release on the Wii where you use the Wii remote to look around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't feel as good. So this is great. The um, remastering seems like, you know, minimal, honestly. For I mean, my memory of a GameCube game is probably a little rose-colored, but it doesn't mm. look super different. The first it looks nicer, but yeah. Originally yeah. On the Nintendo GameCube system, I guess they'll show us the difference now. For Nintendo Switch. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective oh, of... Oh, no, this is... Okay. I thought they were going to show us a difference because they were showing the original GameCube game there, but it is just that... So, okay. It looks similar. Advisors are the key to your adventure. They'll help you discover info and clues on how to progress. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Depending on the situation, a certain visor may be required. He's not wrong. When He's telling the truth. <laughs> Keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams, missiles. <laughs> yep. Bombs you can fight back with beams if you grab a Ugh. big block of wood and whack the enemy with a beam. <laughs> this remaster mm -hmm. adds new dual stick control. I don't like the font. The font in this and the font in the Dead Space remake both um, date them. <laughs> it's like, like digital, like, like yeah. yeah, it's very like 2003 um, visual design. Yeah. It is having the dual the dual stick controls here is interesting because the first one just used the left stick to, to like go oh, sure. style of controls um, right right which actually with, felt great with like an auto Whoa. aim yeah and you'd lock on and whatever. Whoa. today I didn't expect that, that. is crazy <laughs> tight all right <laughs> Jesus well, Christ we'll, we'll talk about it next week on the pod I guess <laughs> yeah yeah That's sick another detective game okay and Shinigami. I never would have deduced that they would not include it in <laughs> yeah. the, the section this about is, detective yeah. games. <laughs> this truly is so funny that it was farming and then... If we get... Yeah. If the one more thing is a detective game where a crime's been committed on a farm... <laughs> oh, oh, man. I fucking mind. Oh, if you yeah. jab into... Someone's poisoned our crops. <laughs> ...that can prove useful during investigations. 
God, like it would be so helpful. If you were a fucking, if you had supernatural powers as a detective, you'd be the yeah. best fucking detective. Imagine not being able to solve a crime and you've got fucking superpowers. You'd be so guilty. These abilities can be shared with you, Ma. So this is post cognition. Okay. So use them to get closer to cracking a case. After collecting enough evidence, <laughs> spot the inconsistencies and uncover the truth. You'd never, if this guy hadn't explicitly told me that this was a detective game, I would have had yeah. no fucking idea. <laughs> Wings oh. of the heart take flight once more. Okay. A remastered collection yeah, when a game looks like shovelware that that you'd scroll Nintendo past on the eShop, but it's being featured in mm. the direct, it's it's it's, a, it's not ideal. And it may well it's be good. Like, view. there's a ton of those sorts of things that. But yeah, I I kind of agree that like if I saw that on Steam, I'd be like, okay, and never think about it again. You know? Yeah. Mm. I mean, same with this, honestly. Yeah, what this is looks this? Like a PS1. Some old game? Yeah, I, d I don't, I don't know. I know this is. name. I've heard of this series before, so I'm sure there's some people. Wings of Heart yeah. taking flight again just sounded like a fucking Bette Midler song to me, so I don't like this. Not. <laughs> your attack power is determined by the attributes and combinations of your cards. Ah, oh, your attack power is determined by your attributes. That's pretty unique. Mm. Interesting. I don't mind. This? Oh, is this fucking Bait and Katos? Is that what they said? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. The I, I, my brain started ringing after uh, Wings of the Heart Take Flight again. <laughs> okay, I do know this. These were GameCube games. Bait and Bait and Bait and Katos. I'd uh -huh. rather see see a, a baiting bait baiting Kratos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jerking that big old dick of his. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> The girl who steals time. I think I used to date her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've all dated her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, move it on. We got a good riff out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Title. We're done. We're go to your next to fucking shovelware game. Let's go. <laughs> Show us another experience. Yeah, cool, this you, is Animal Crossing. Yeah, you little robot. Nice. With uh, Link's Awakening remake visual style, kind of. What a horrible thing to say about the Link's Awakening remake. Yeah, there's no tilt shift uh, soft focus in this that we can see. They look like um, like Mies, right? This looks like the sort of yeah, a little bit. life thing. Yeah. I think this was a. I think this series did start as like a thing on the 3DS that was like a me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm drunk. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's 9.40 a.m. Um, hey, it's midnight shit. yesterday somewhere. That means um, we've only got like one or two more games left. Oh, shit. It's Professor Layton, motherfucker. The well, professor's here to save the day. Now we know why the whole direct was about... Solving mysteries. Yeah, tell me how many fucking matchsticks to move, dude. <laughs> Looks like me. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, so it's an actual sequel. Yeah. That's that's sick. Nate. Those games are great. I love a puzzle. Mm. Uh, I like the look of this uh this course here too. Cool. This yeah, what is this? I this might be it's Yoshi's Island, but is this the new one? That's they a were new adding one, yeah. to a tour or something? No, maybe. Well, they, yeah, they just said it's brand new, so yeah, maybe. I saw that there was one, it okay. may be brand new for this, but I saw that there was one that was like brand new for tour that then was getting added to this or something as well, but I don't know if that's... if this. They is probably like would now be like making mm. new tracks in tandem, knowing that they're going to, you know, end up on both. Yeah. Great. Man, does Mario um, Kart 8 just exist forever, like that infinite loop that is its logo? Or like... I guess. Do they ever do a 9? Well, how many waves of DLC was there meant to be? I think six. I think it goes to the end of this year. Bloody hell. Yeah, Birdo's yeah, great. Does. Love the addition yeah. of Birdo. Love, love uh, that character. Character design. Yeah. Um, fuck. Which they stole that. from... Doki Doki Panic. We're already up to the um, musical montage. Here's the rest of them section, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. 
And then do we... If we don't see fucking Zelda in this, that'd be really weird to me. It would. It'd, yeah. I, it'd make sense for it to just have its own big, you know, one though. You know, like they'll do those... Yeah, yeah. Animal Crossing Direct and stuff like that. But also it would make sense for it to be the only other thing that they've got to show at right. the end of the <laughs> yeah, And they've true. shown so little of it and it comes yeah. out relatively soon. Yeah. Like, I could, if they had, like, at another time, we'll show Zelda later on at the end, yeah. then sure. But if they just don't even fucking mention it, that would be... Um, is this would... Fred again? <laughs> this is giving serious Fred again vibes. <laughs> Um, let us know in the chat if you like Fred again. <laughs> let us Hogs know out for Fred when again. last night in Sydney. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that guy's face is weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's so funny all being slightly out of sync. <laughs> I know, because I was looking at Nala when you said that guy's face was weird. Yeah, and so was too. everyone in the uh, chat, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, most of your reactions have not made sense. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us so Okay. Far. This will be our Okay, will great. Be our last segment. Please take a look. I will take a look. I've got no choice. Mm. I'm going to close my eyes. Yeah, okay. This is This is the big Z. Mhm, <laughs> surely. Yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. I like those dragons. They look cool. Mm. I still do love the the look of this game. Like, it hasn't aged. Yeah. No, it's such a cool art style. And yeah. it's something that so many, like, the, the, the line between that shovelware look and something like this. Mm. I don't know where it is, but, like, it's so distinct when you, when you, when it's good, you know it is. Yeah. Oh. Hey, the moon's back from, uh, Majora. First game. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it, it is Majora y, isn't it? Yeah. This is feeling like the kind of trailer that should have been like the first announced. You Absolutely. Know, there's yeah. like other trailers were like weirdly kind of like patched together. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then Cause... this is kind of giving you a bit of flavor of what is going on. I'm liking seeing more uh, enemy types. Yeah. That's a big thing about the first one that was sort of. Uh, but also, we're seeing a lot of the same guys back from the first one. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was. Makes sense. I'd... I'm not sure. I'd sort of forgotten how the uh, the first game had such a long... Like, they showed a lot of it. Especially when it was just mm. on the Wii U. They spent ages, like, showing real specific stuff of it. Yeah, and oh. they had those trailers that then didn't end up really being it at all. Link like, had the fucking yeah. soap shoes from Sonic 2. He was grinding on that <laughs> rail. That was... So oh, look at that car! Similar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For another jump Oh, scare. hell yeah. <laughs> it does look similar in the landmass, obviously, and they've said yeah. that it's the same map, but uh, there was enough different new stuff in there that that has made me excited again. Yeah, the car and the big flying catamaran. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, that's cool. The, and yeah, the couple of new boss-y-looking enemies, like the big the big square guy. He yeah. looks sick. Big block man. The All blockhead. Right. Okay. I'll play it. I dare me to play it. <laughs> I love I love playing the game Zelda where you play as Zelda, the little green guy, little Zelda man. A little green man, yeah. little green man named Zelda. I wonder if that seventy dollar US thing is accurate. The people have been. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a sweet ass collector's edition. Mm. Little book, little Mebo. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Does anyone still buy this... Mebos? Uh, probably. Yeah. I mean, people must be right for them to still be making them. And I think the the old ones get a fair fair price bump, collective market wise. All right. Okay. Well, that's the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, Zelda does look good. Um, but yeah, God, they do pack those full of. Uh, shovelware <laughs> i know as, like. as much as like i think before this on the bottom whatever we've said like hopefully it's not like a big long 15 minutes of zelda and they show us some new stuff or whatever compared to i would have removed you know 12 of those games and mm. taken 15 minutes of zelda if it was a choice yeah yeah um but 
because it's I, I'm struggling to recall the majority of them. You know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's they always have those extra things in there, but yeah, that's I mean, that's more than I was expecting. Good look at Pikmin mm-hmm. Four, and it's out, you know, in in July. Yeah. Uh, Prime that Prime thing finally being real, and it's out today. Yeah, that's, I, mean, that's sick. I had I truly had given up. Hope that that existed. It just seemed like one of those things that yeah. has been rumored for every direct for the last two years and not showing up, and then just on there today. Great to not have to wait for that. I'd love that to be the case for every remake or remaster. It's like it right. already exists out there in the world. Just have it right now. We don't yeah. need a hype cycle for a thing that yeah yeah, yeah. agreed yeah. Well, and it it is weird that like I, I'm glad that that prime remaster is like out and that'll be cool and people who haven't played it should absolutely play it. It's so good. Not having two and three and not having any mm. news about four is sort of like yeah. a bit disappointing. So, you know, I mean, we got something, but I, I still think that that's uh, the worst case scenario if they are going to do a Metroid thing. You know what I mean? Right. Um, um, Advance Wars getting dated finally, <laughs> ending <laughs> our long national nightmare of... <laughs> It just not being addressed. Uh, man, that's still coming yeah, out that... in April is crazy as well. I wonder what yeah. the thinking behind that is of like, mm. maybe it'll slow down by then. Like, I, Yeah. Surely you're Prime not. Unless being something a went shadow fucking drop and that nod is that bizarre. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Game Boy well, Color and Game Boy and Advanced stuff, that's nice to have. That's nice, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. It ha- I have no interest in it, so it felt tedious, but... Yeah, I'm not everyone. Other people, hey, they might have liked it. I think with a, this presentation in particular too, like a lot of the stuff that will be cool and we'll end up enjoying isn't exciting from the way it's been presented there because there wasn't yeah. really some like one thing to get you get your mm. juices bubbling, mm. get your Kratos jacking off. And uh, <laughs> as much as I do love detective games, um, yeah, like I said during the the thing, like. I just played a couple of really, really good ones in the past six months. I don't, mm. I don't know if that, yeah, that mm. kind of leads to an unfavorable comparison. But also, then, yeah, Pro- Professor Layton, um, new game is. I mean, that's is the exciting. one, right? Like yeah. all the rest of them look like they're third party ones. It's just you know sometimes it's like a weird coincidence that something's in the air and mm. uh, there's like a trendy kind of thing that a lot of people are developing a similar genre at the same time, but. They yeah, must I mean, have been the real looking out for them new... in the future. <laughs> well, I think that, that like some of those are probably coming off the back. Like I know there was a f- Ghost fan- Phantom, whatever that one was, is like a sequel mm. or something. And there have been mm-hmm. a couple of the, or like there was at least one. Maybe it's Dangan Romper or something. But there's at least one of those sort of like supernatural detective games that got bit, and so it, maybe it's a response right. to that. Yeah, sort of. But yeah, we'll probably talk about it more on the podcast. Yeah, later today. Um, yeah. yeah. Thanks everyone for dropping by and watching the Nintendo Direct with us. Yeah. Fun. Um, thank you everyone in the chat. Thanks for for yeah people who have been listening to Clicker. Tell your friends about Clicker. Um, and yeah, well you can hear us on the podcast in about six hours or something. No yeah. more than yeah. that. <laughs> like uh, ten. Ten hours. About yeah. Ten, ten hours. hours. Mm-hmm. But set uh, your alarms. <laughs> any any other stuff you want to say before we 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 jump off? Mm, um, no. Don't feel obligated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye.